Suffran, a French manufacturer of aircraft engines, intends to reduce its dependence on foreign suppliers. In contrast to the Russian aviation industry, the rationale for this decision was not solely based on geopolitical risks, but also on the desire to enhance the sustainability of the supply chain of components for the CFM Leap 1A engine. Safran and GE Aerospace are currently experiencing challenges in producing the engine in the necessary volume as a result of the increasing demand for Airbus A320neo family aircraft. Safran Blades, a subsidiary of Safran Aero Boosters, is set to commence operations in Marchen, Belgium, during the second quarter of 2025. According to company officials, this initiative will enhance Safran's autonomy in the production of critical components. This announcement was made during the B-Cover testbeds opening. Safran Blades has initiated the production of low-pressure compressor blades and vanes, also known as booster blades, due to the decreasing reliability of suppliers. The demand for the CFM Leap 1A engine is being generated by the ramp-up of Airbus A320neo production. However, Safran and GE Aerospace are experiencing difficulty in producing the engine in the necessary quantities. In 2022, executives were persuaded by recent developments in Safran Aero Booster's supply chain to construct their own facility. It is a component of Safran's supply chain resilience strategy, Safran CEO Olivia Andres stated on November 27. Safran Blades is being succeeded by a new foundry facility in Rennes, western France, which will be known as Safran Turbine Airfoils. Construction on this facility began in February 2024. Safran, Airbus, and Tikau Ace Capital acquired Oberon Duval, a metal supplier, in 2022 to enhance the supply chain's reliability. Several hundred airfoils are required for a booster, which is one of the modules in a turbofan engine. Francois Lepeau, president and CEO of Safran Aero Boosters, stated that the company buys 1.5 million blades and vanes annually for the Leap and other engines boosters. Leistritz, a German company, was one of Safran Aero Boosters' suppliers. The company maintained a production facility in Ampho Bang Lamung, which is located in the province of Chonburi, Thailand. Lapote observed that the plant was devastated by fire. Pratt & Whitney has acquired Blade Technology, another Safran supplier, in Naharia, Israel, and is currently in the process of reorienting the company's focus, Lapote noted. In a few months, the Israeli factory will discontinue the production of engine airfoils. Lapote stated that Hyatek supplies well over 50% of the airfoils required by Safran Aero Boosters in Wuxi City, located in the Chinese province of Jiangsu. That proportion was deemed excessive in the context of escalating geopolitical tensions. Lapote said the company will continue its collaboration with the Chinese supplier. However, they will supply no more than 50% of the necessary airfoils. The Liege site will reduce its reliance on external suppliers by producing 700,000 forged titanium blades and vanes annually. In the province of Liege, Belgium's Walloon region, the facility is situated on a former Arcelor Middle site in Marchen. Safran Blades site will employ approximately 100 people and span 10,000 meters square. Lapote observed that it depends on a high degree of automation to maintain competitive production costs. Belgian and Walloon federal authorities are jointly investing in Safran Blades. Wallonie Entrepreneur and the Belgian Federal Holding and Investment Company are both 22% shareholders in Safran Blades. The remaining 56% of Safran Blades is owned by Safran Aero Boosters. Safran maintains a 67% stake in its subsidiary, Safran Aero Boosters, while the Walloon region and the Belgian federal state each own 31% and 2%, respectively. Now, do you think making all parts in Europe will increase the end product cost for the customer? Let us know in the comments. Please like and share our videos and subscribe to our channel. Please also take membership in our channel to encourage us.